Just for a start the video guys, the first comment on this video is going to get themselves a free mystery box and I'm also going to be giving away 50,000 soul split credits which is a lot of money so to win that giveaway all you have to do pretty much is just like the video, comment your own game name on soul split and be subscribed to my channel with notifications on and that's pretty much all you have to do so good luck on that giveaway and I hope you enjoyed today's video. What is up guys and today we are back on Soul Split RSPS and yeah today we're doing a different type of video we're going to be basically doing a starter guide slash money making guide so it's basically for like new players how to get started off on this server and how to make some quick cash when you're starting off so yeah let's get into it. So when you first start off you're actually given a choice between four game modes legend, medium, easy and extreme and obviously each game mode has certain benefits so pretty much each game mode is fully explained on this thread which I will link in the description below so there's four distinct game modes so the easiest game mode is the sir mode. So so it's generally for people who want the entire private server experience. They have the highest XP rate in games, so it's really easy to like level up your skills. So you can see you get 5,000 experience per hit. And you get an option to type Colon Colon Pure at Varric Quest Bank, which gives you pretty much 99 in all melee stats and 52 prayer. So you get extremely fast XP rates, which makes leveling it up really easy, but the drop rate is really low. So laws are pretty much pretty similar to Sir, except they have a slightly higher drop rate. At the same time, they have a slightly lower experience rate. Now for Legends game mode, this is like the second hardest one. So you're actually given a cape of Legends, which is one of the best capes in game and they also get a 25% slower prey reduction when outside of the wilderness and they have a pretty high drop rate and no hit reduction and as well as this their special attack bar refills a lot quicker but at the same time it takes a lot of time to train and it can be very expensive and finally the hardest game mode is extreme game mode the yeah, sir owens longsword which is the best training weapon in game and it hits twice as fast as any other melee weapon and they get a 50% reduction to prayer drain and it only takes 10 seconds to regain 10% of their special attack boss yeah these pretty much have the best benefits out of any game mode out there you do only get 10 experience per hit so it's extremely slow to train and very expensive to train skills like prayer and herb loss so choosing your game mode is probably going to be one of your biggest decisions but yeah for this one i might just go with legends to be honest so yeah after that as well you can also choose what type of account you want to be and you'll be given certain items depending on, on which mode you choose and yeah it pretty much explains all of that so if you chose legends or extreme you'll find your cape of legends or your sarah's longsword in your bank it won't be in the inventory and you're also given some pretty cool starter stuff so yeah, pretty decent to work with. So yeah, the first thing you want to do when you start out is type colon colon vote. That'll take you to this page over here. So as you can see, the voting helps out Soul Split in loads of ways and gives you loads of rewards as well, which I will explain in a bit. But you can only vote once every 12 hours per account. So yeah, basically just click on all three of these sites and vote. All right, so we just finished voting. And as you can see here, it shows you the amount of time until you can vote again on each website. And there's also a list of the top voters from the past 30 days. So you can get recognized on there if you like vote every day. But yeah, after doing that, just type colon colon redeem in game. And as you can see you get three vote tokens which get added to your bank and when you actually redeem these you basically get 60 minutes of double xp 15,000 dungeoneering tokens two vote points and 1500 loyalty points per vote token as well so as you can see like i've already used quite a lot in the past so i have a lot of each of these stuff already but as well as this you also get two red color tokens and two yellow color tokens per reward token that you use so if you use all three then i'd get six so basically every time you vote every 12 hours you get three hours of double xp 45,000 dungeon engineering tokens, 6 vote points, and 4,500 loyalty points, which is a lot of stuff for just doing something so simple. And yeah, you actually get a lot of loot from these, so this is a really good money maker. So from the yellow tokens, these are the skilling ones, so you can get like skilling brawlers, herbal or secondaries, summoning charms. Oh, we even got a barrier's piece from that, so you can get barrier's pieces as well. So yeah, from everything, 6 of those, that's all the loot that we got, so pretty decent stuff. And you also get loads of stuff from the red reward tokens as well. So these are mainly combat stuff, so you can get like resource potions, barrier's pieces, and we just got two of them there some rune armor and yeah in general also some pretty useful stuff and yeah if you didn't want to redeem them you can even sell like the vote tokens for around four mil each so by voting you get a free 12 mil cash which is actually a pretty hefty sum of money on here so that will definitely be useful for starting out but yeah i recommend using them when you first join to get some useful starter items and for the double xp because you'll want to train up your combat stats after voting probably the first thing you want to do is train up your combat stats so you can do that by going to training teleports and then one of the best places is rock crabs and you can come over here and there's usually a decent amount of rock crabs but an even better place to train although this one is a lot more crowded is sage's safe training so the unique thing about this is even if you die on here you respawn in the same area and keep all of your items so very useful for like starter players since you're gonna have like low hp and you're probably gonna die quite a few times but you'll literally just respawn here so as you can see there are a lot of rock crabs in this place and some chickens back there as well for like completely selling out and yeah they do automatically aggro onto you but they do lose aggro every like 15 minutes or something and if you do lose aggro then you have to teleport home and then 
relog and then teleport back here and then they should re-aggro again so that's pretty much all you have to do and it is really afk like as you can see and yeah sometimes those training teleports can be pretty packed it's not peak time at the moment but usually there's a lot more players there like rock crabs some other good training spots are the yaks over here located at nita's not south they're usually pretty empty and they're pretty decent xp since they have quite a lot of health but yeah an even better spot is near lumbridge there are loads of yaks in here as you can see and even some rams to attack and i usually like never see anyone here so this is a pretty good spot so you can upgrade your gear by talking to these guys so Horvik is located over here and he sells like pretty good armor he sells all the pharaonic helms and up to rune armor and like there's proselyte as well which boosts your prayer so he sells some pretty good stuff and if you need any food or potions these guys pretty much sell everything that you need so they have loads of noted potions they even have some pure gear as well and house teleports so yeah this place is also pretty useful but yeah another good money making method is once you reach around 70 combat you probably want to kill some frost dragons because you also need to get your prayer up i'm guessing so frost dragons are really good prayer xp each bone sells for around 300k cash each so they're pretty good money so yeah this gear is pretty decent you can buy the range armor from this guy he also sells loads of other range stuff so yeah if you want to turn your range just come to this guy you can also buy an anti-dragon shield and some general supplies from this guy so yeah an anti-dragon shield only costs like 20 gp so it also sells loads of various skilling stuff and if you can't afford a whip which is really easy to afford they don't go for that much you can just get them from like a few vote tokens you can buy a dragon scimitar and loads of other like melee weapons in this store over here so also if you want to switch your prayer book from like normal prayers to curses just teleport to the chaos altar by talking to the sailor located over here and you don't actually have to go to the desert pyramid to switch to ancients there's actually an ancients altar located right over here but to switch to lunas you do have to teleport to luna isle and it's located in the same place on runescape oh yeah i forgot with those vote points you can actually buy loads of cool rewards in here like <laughs> chicken armor a uh, rogue armor some various dragon masks like some fire stars and some pretty other cool stuff so yeah check that out you can also teleport to dungeoneering by going to skill teleports and then teleporting to dungeoneering which is where you can spend dungeoneering tokens from your votes so yeah you can literally go straight for like a chaotic so chaotic rapier only costs 200,000 dungeoneering tokens so you can literally vote like 12 times across like six days and have a chaotic which is awesome and yeah i can actually afford that but i think for extremes the siren's longsword might be better but for any other game mode chaotic rapier is the best melee weapon in game and obviously the other chaotics are also the best in slot like chaotic staff and chaotic crossbow are definitely good weapons and you can also buy like rigor and augury which are the best range and mage prayers in game so there's loads of really useful stuff in this shop <laughs> you can also talk to hands to see the amount of time you spend playing soul split so for myself it's five days and 11 hours make vids on soul split that's what i'm doing right now and yeah you can actually spend loyalty tokens over here as well so it even tells you how much loyalty points you have you can also buy some pretty cool stuff in here like war sheaf armor lord marshall which actually looks awesome so yeah there's some really cool stuff in this shop as well but anyway to kill frost dragons you go to wilderness areas and then teleport to east hybriding and remember make sure you have a dragon fire shield or an anti-dragon shield there's also revenants in the wilderness which are decent money you can actually examine any monster in game to see their drop tables so you can see this drops like corrupt dragon armor zerials morrigans vestas and even statius as well as brawler gloves so yeah revenants are really good to kill in the wilderness for money <laughs> oh shit the revenant froze me oh damn we actually killed that revenant and got a broken statue headdress so yeah with these artifacts you can sell them to mandrith at home for some quick cash so yeah green dragons are located over here there's another revenant back there but i believe frost dragons are a bit more northwest but yeah there's loads of revenants at east as well i just realized so yeah frost dragons are located right over here just west of the green dragons they're still in 20 wilderness so you can teleport from them but yeah these aren't too difficult to kill they don't have too much hp just you should be fine if you soul split it but yeah like i said you do need some pretty decent stats because they have some pretty high defense and they can hit quite a bit as well but yeah i don't know if this is like the perfect inventory for it but <laughs> we seem to be doing pretty well uh, so yeah they have a hundred percent chance of dropping the frost dragon bones but they can also drop like herbal packages and they even have a chance of dropping the draconic visage so yeah if you got one of those then <laughs> you can make yourself a dragon fire shield which is actually worth quite a bit of money so you can actually kill frost dragons in a safe zone but you do need to be a member in order to kill them so you need to go to skill teleports and then go to nita's on north this guy's also pretty useful how can i earn money train skills leaving an ardoin and pking in the wilderness well that's basically the guide covered might as well end the video <laughs> Right, so once you get to Nita's North, you need to cross the bridge, and then you run east a bit. And when you get to this place, you need to run all the way north. And here you'll see some green dragons. So there's actually caves located both like right and left. So yeah, he says both entrances go to the same place. And yeah, shout out to this guy, he's actually showing me where it is. So yeah, and then you can just enter the cave over here. And yeah, then you'll teleport to this place. So there's actually a barrel chest and some cave horrors here as well. But yeah, if you run all the way east, this is where you're gonna find the frost dragons. So yeah, you need to go through this cave, and there's some skeletal wyverns here. <laughs> and yeah, here is the frost dragon. 
astray and so yeah it's quite a trick but it's completely safe so you could just kill it and keep burying the bones but yeah like i said it is members only but yeah after you make a bit of cash from frost dragons or whatever money making method you choose you can actually start slayer so to actually start slayer you will probably want to buy yourself a game necklace and a combat bracelet so the game's neck is really useful because it teleports you to like loads of different dungeons it has like two separate teleports for that and yeah the combat bracelet can also teleport you to like warriors guild where you get your dragon defender but you basically use the game's necklace to teleport yourself to edgeville dungeon and then yeah once you teleport here just run all the way north and then you should see vanica the slayer master so yeah here he is so you can actually get different types of tasks so you can get easy medium hard or boss tasks so i believe you need like 80 slayer to get hard tasks and for boss tasks you need to be like really high combat as well so yeah each of them give a different number of points obviously boss tasks give the most slayer points whereas easy ones give the least amount of slayer points but what i recommend to do is for slayer like it does have some pretty good rewards so you can see here you can find out how to fletch broad ammo how to craft a slayer helm how to craft a slayer ring and you can even buy like slayer experience books slayer ring casket and star balls so yeah starting out i'd recommend doing nine easy slayer tasks and one hard task so every 10th task you get a bonus amount of points so i recommend doing the hard one for that and yeah i just keep doing that until you get enough slayer points to buy everything so some other good money makers are shooting stars and evil trees but especially shooting stars so it actually comes up like in the world chat whenever one appears so as you can see currently there's an evil sapling near Kandrin but as you can see on this guide it pretty much explains it in really good detail so per successful mine you basically get stardust and it basically shows how much xp each game mode gets so extremes get 1500 mining xp which is actually pretty decent it even says like all the locations of the shooting star as well as like marking them on the map so I'm guessing the blue dots are where they are so yeah all the locations are located on this guide which I will link in the description below so check that out and yeah it has some really good rewards so you get 1000 gp per dust which is actually pretty decent so say you mined like a thousand stardust that's basically one more cash right there you also get some rune ore adamant ore and mithril ore as well which is very useful for like smithing i'm guessing so yeah shooting stars are also pretty op but yeah guys i think that covers pretty much everything for like new players so i know i didn't go into too much detail with money making but honestly there's loads out there like you could donate as well which supports the server and gives you some really good cash like flips and mystery boxes give some awesome rewards and of course you can make money from like dicing and staking but obviously they're pretty risky so yeah that's not like guaranteed money but it's still out there as an option but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found it useful so let me know if you did and like leave any comments because if i make another guide in the future if you guys let me know some other money makers that'd be awesome so feel free to let me know in the comment section below and yeah don't forget to enter that giveaway for the 50k credit since it is quite a lot of money so that could also get you started out if you want that prize so definitely make sure to enter that but yeah guys definitely do make sure to try out soul split the link to soul split is in the description below and they've made so many updates in the past few days like it is really awesome to see the owners are fully dedicated to making this as big as possible so come check it out but it is also a referral link so clicking that link would really help me out so make sure you do that and yeah thanks for watching guys and now i'm gonna pick the giveaway results from the previous video so good luck to everyone all right so now i'm gonna pick the giveaway results from the previous video where i was also giving away 50,000 soul split credits so there's gonna be five winners in total the first one is extreme so there is 10,000 credits to him congrats man the second winner goes to allow one the third winner goes to extreme rob congrats man there you go sir the fourth winner goes to <laughs> timmy congrats man all right there are your credits all right and our fifth and final winner goes to x two pack all right so yeah those are our five winners so yeah make sure when you come in your in-game name you have actually registered an account on soul split so i can just send you your credit straight away and then you'll come to this cave so just enter it